Can you smell it? The smell in the air of a brand new arc, a brand new beginning. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Monster High Shinobi. We are on episode 579 and 580 of One Piece. And this begins Punk Hazard on Crunchyroll. We finished off Fishman Island, but now we're off. I don't know where to or what's even going on, but we're in the new world now. So things got to get wacky, right? We're going to hop right into it. See what's up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub. You can still catch us on. The we're basically halfway through this journey. I think, I don't know. We may not even be halfway. Way, to be honest and let's get started <laughs> this is a new world why is he still rocking the beetle hair is it just his chaos hair <laughs> nothing's impossible in the new world baby a red what what is happening is the sea on fire no one points it wait why wait so they definitely shouldn't land there it looks fun! Is there any, even anything there? How do you know it's too peculiar for the new world? You just got here! Oh man, we're already off track. And how is the sea on fire? Fish, oh, it's killing the fish too. Okay. <laughs> what? The phone is crying? You have a stomach ache? <laughs> An emergency signal. Oh. Oh. I love how emergency signal is like someone is a the snail is actually crying. A navy trap. I mean, Smoker could be near. We saw him already. A, a tease of him. Bro identifies himself immediately. I don't know. This person actually sounds in danger. The boss. I'm not the boss. <laughs> the samurai. Samurai. <laughs> I like how Zoro perked up. Oh. Is Punk Hazard this island? Oh, well, rip. Dude, I like how the snail like limps over. Punk Hazard is a sick name for an island. Dude, him saying the boss gives me like crocodile vibes. Oh! Speaking of samurai, what? What? Oh, are the, that's only where samurai are from? The swordsman called samurai. Oh. Ooh, Zoro's itching, bro. Yeah, uh, friggin' Ryuma. That was his name. He was from Wano. So samurai are notably from Wano only. Like, samurai can't be from anywhere else? Or is it just like really high chances they're from Wano? A samurai could be nice, I think. I mean, Ryuma was chill. I mean, he was our enemy, but like in death, he was chill. Oh, a rain ship. Bro, what are these islands? Oh, wait, they were listening in. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. So it wasn't the Navy, for sure, but it's still going to be someone trapping him. Oh, shoot. Smoker's getting involved. This word is since they sealed it. Oh, what happened four years ago? It seemed like there was like an explosion or something. It's a restricted area. <laughs> yeah, bro, where do you get off telling Smoker what's not and isn't isn't allowed? What is that island, man? With the lightning? What are any of these islands? How do you even get on the island? Okay, well, Luffy's definitely going. Aw, Luffy and Frankie adventure? That could be a cute dynamic. I mean, Frankie was sidelined for a lot of Fishman, too. <laughs> Chopper wants him to like Hunger Games him. His little, his little paw. Okay, Usopp's definitely going. He's taking everything on it. Oh. What is that subtitle? Is that a curse? Zoro, Robin, Usopp? That's a cute group. At least Chopper didn't get it. He's so dramatic, man. Oh my gosh. Aw, a bento. What? She's making a path all the way there? Bro, that's sick. 
Oh, the Milky Road. Wait, actually, though. Oh, I like the drawback to Skypea, too. So they're just going to take Mini Mary all the way there? He's already eating the bento. Oh, my gosh. Recon team. Man, I wanted Frankie to go. <laughs> she knows he needs to be cheered on. Mini Mary. It makes me miss Mary. At least we still have her in some form. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, if it expires, how do they get back across? I want to see what the actual island looks like. It's just flames. It's a gate. <laughs> They're actually all eating their lunches already. I like all the sweat on them, too. It's a good detail. They didn't have to do that, but it shows how hot it actually is. I mean, they're going right over flames. Just what I had two years ago. Ah, oh, the fear of unknown islandosis. I forgot about that one. You got this, Usopp. You're a brave warrior of the sea now. Oh, it literally just says Punk Hazard. It's actually like officially named. What did this used to be? Hmm. I like, dude, I like this mystery. Like it could be anything. Like Fishman Island, we had a good idea of what we were going into. Like it was a literally Fishman Island. I don't even know what Punk Hazard is. I mean, it's literally sealed off. And why is there a samurai here? Yeah, sealed off by the government and the Navy. I, mean, I feel like the flames, I don't know if they're manufactured though to like keep people out. Ain't no gate keeping him out, baby. Man, it was a cool sign. Good. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Bro, Luffy's just stripping. Robin? Oh. I was a little baited. Not gonna lie. You've already challenged the government, Usopp. My god. Uh, get it together, man. Oh, they're gonna like overheat, man. Oh my gosh! It was four years ago. Has it been burning ever since whatever happened four years ago? There's no way, man. Oh my gosh. What kind of government facilities? Maybe it was something the government wanted hidden, so they blew it up and then they shut it down. The facilities were hazardous because it's called Pug Hazard. Actually true, yeah, the log post didn't point to it. Mm, so many questions. Where could this guy have possibly been? Like, everything's just on fire. Nobody's just hanging out here. Samurai! He's stress eating now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man, the snail said it's cold. Oh, I thought he meant more like death was cold, but yeah, I guess no, that doesn't make sense. Why would he say it's cold? Yeah, that's what I was saying, Robin. It's cold. Like, oh my gosh, the light leaving my body. What is that sound? What? Aww. He's so happy. Strange above the sky. Above the sky. The Arctic sky? Is like the other side of the island like cold? Like half as hot, half as cold? What? And it's dead! Oh, it's just, yes, yeah, it's, it's skull. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, something's moving. What? An animal! It actually exists? I'm guessing whatever this thing is ate the other thing? A goddamn T-Rex? Oh no, it has wings. It does look like a dinosaur though. It, it, oh, it's a dragon! Oh! Dragoon! Yo, it's sick though. It's beautiful. How did they not see this coming? Maybe the dragon is like spraying flames down? I don't know. 580, let's go. The, the mystery of Punk Hazard has me intrigued. Of course, Luffy just thinks it's cool. I mean, hockey for creatures? Couldn't he kind of like... I'm not saying he's on like episode two Shanks level, but like how much control does he have over this thing? It's huge, but... It's actually enormous. Why is it just chilling here? And did the government know this was here? He's so giddy. It's just gonna like try to eat him, bro. It speaks! Nani? How does it talk? 
Well, I mean, I guess Chopper, you know. But Chopper has the human human fruit. How does this thing speak, bro? Oh, wait. He can, can he wait? Can you only hear it because of hockey? Or is it similar to like the thing in Fishman Island where he could hear the Sea Kings? Oh. I'm pretty sure that's a dragon, Usopp. What? What dignifies a dragon? Yeah, lizard like body, giant wings, the big old horns. The only thing it's missing is breathing fire. Bingo. I think that was similar since Usopp didn't hear it. I'm guessing the other two didn't either. Similar to the thing in Fishman. Luffy just has some innate ability to hear, like, creatures. I don't know. No, because it's not every creature. It's just, like, big, powerful ones. It's not like he just hears every fish that swims by. My goodness. Punk Hazard gets more and more intriguing as the seconds go by. Luffy's so excited. He's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. He's got kind of a goofy face to him. I'm not going to lie. I like how Luffy can do that with just the arm, but I kind of miss the pose, man. The, I mean, he doesn't have to do the pose, but he only does just the arm now. Oh, this poor dragon. Uh, he's going to whip back. It's going to be a little bit harder to take him down. He's enormous. And it's literally, like they said, a mythical creature. I feel like Zoro could just slice this thing up. I guess they don't want to kill it, though, because it is a mythical creature, like I said. There could be some benefit to leaving it alive. I don't know. Like I said, he's kind of cute. Like, his little face. He's already provoked! Ah, oh, shoot, that's a sick shot. I love that. Oh, oh Zoro heard him. Oh, wait. Usopp heard him, too. Why, why else would he have said what? So, wait, they both heard him now. He said, I sent your presents? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't the thing from Fishman. Aw, hell. Dude. Ultra Tiger Hunt? Whoa, dude. That, I was going to say he could slice him up. This is it's exaggerating how strong this dragon is. Did it knock him out? Almost. Oh, my gosh. This thing is insane. Maybe I overestimated overestimated Zoro. Oh, I, uh, for a second, I was like, what if a blade breaks? That would be heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, man, I was like, there's nothing post time skip Zoro can't do. Here we are. Oh, shoot, Luffy's pissed. God dang. Is he actually angry? Oh, poor Dragoon. <laughs> yeah, I think Usopp did too, like I said. I mean, I don't think they're gonna be able to take this thing down. Oh, wait, is he leaving? Or is he just taking to the skies for combat? Oh, no, no, yep, he's taking to the skies for combat. He's gonna start breathing fire down on him. Oh my God, Luffy. <laughs> it is pretty cool. How is the seven war oh, he keeps saying boo. How is the seven warlords? So they have something to do with this? What? That's a very specific question. Like he's enemies of those that are allies with the seven warlords. Well, right now, are, are, aren't there only like four warlords or something following Marine Ford? Blackbeard quit. Who knows the state Gek my beloved Gekko Mori is in? Jimbei quit. I don't even know if Boa quit, to be honest. Uh. His eye, why did you pick ice cream chopper? Uh, I guess it cools him down. That makes sense. But it's just like perma melting. Yeah, just to keep him cool. I'm stupid. What? Oh no. It's like a scuba diver? That's what that sounds like. Like a scuba thing. I love Brooke so much. Optimism at its finest. Somebody's like sneaking onto the ship, I think. I don't know if I should be worried yet or not. Like, it could be someone weak. The sky is divided. That is interesting. Half is hot, half is cold. This isn't where Akainu and uh, Aokiji fought, right? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That was that's the only thing I can think of. Because like, Akainu and Aokiji fought on an island, but they said the incident happened four years ago. But couldn't this still be where they fought? Oh, they're seeing the dragon. Dude. Dude. This is not the Navy. One million percent. They wouldn't do something like this. Chopper! Can Chopper not smell it? Oh man, if they can barely see it or smell it, that's pretty OP. Oh, they're not scuba masks. It was gas masks for the for this. Who are you? 
They are goddamn units! Oh my gosh! They look like the guys from Monsters, Inc. The, like, yellow suits with the one hole. Dude, Puck Hazard just gets uh, more convoluted. I mean, we've met a dragon. Half the crew is, I think, being kidnapped. I'm here for it. <laughs> it's hot! The dragon said something again! What the hell is happening?! I love the chaos of One Piece, though. You just don't find it anywhere else. Seems like it, yeah. I feel like one of them messed with him. So he just associates all of the warlords as being bad. But wouldn't he just associate the government as being bad? Why would he specifically say warlords? <laughs> that boy, Zoro, get in there, baby. Get in there. Get the hell in there. All this fire just reminds me of it. Wait, what? <laughs> Ain't no way, Luffy. I bet, man, it's filled with fire. What? What is that? Is somebody stuck in him? Those are feet kicking. Strange, but it's cool here. Bro, what? Wait, he's saying boo like the dragon says. What is happening, man? Yeah, how is he just stuck in the dragon, though? That doesn't make sense. The talking voice was the guy? What is going on, man? Is the guy controlling the dragon? Because he says boo, too? Or did they just hear the guy yell boo and they thought it was the dragon? Dragon wings are for dinner, baby. Oh, he's he's actually eating it. Why, why is he chewing? Why? Why is he doing that? There's no way it took him that long to realize it. There is absolutely no way. Bro's is gonna fall. Oh, no! Dragoon! Oh no, Zoro's gonna roll this poor thing. No, he's not controlling the dragon. The dragon's definitely like alive and like sentient. I mean, he may be controlling him even if he is alive. Tell me it's like a launch pad. Oh, it is. Yes, I forgot he has this. It's beautiful, the combination move. Teamwork. Zoro's just like a tornado. It's not really cutting into him though. Got the line delivered. Holy sh- Oh my god! What? That line delivery was so goddamn cold. He beheaded him! Oh my- uh, uh, I... I'll eat crow. My bad, Zoro. My bad, bro. Holy goddamn. Jesus. Oh my god, those giant hands. I want him to hold me. Yo, no, the poor dragon. This mythical creature's dead. And all right, what happened? Who's kidnapping them? Wait, he's in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Oh no. He's gonna pass out too. Oh yeah, wait, they're all just unconscious still. Yeah, they must not be able to see the vapor. It's just for us. Because he would have recognized it right away. To him, it just looks like they're sleeping or funsies. Oh no. Okay, there's like a light fall. Oh no, he's out. Oh, Man, he worked so hard on those dishes. I'll oh, make it back inside. Get inside, Sanji! Nope. Nope. I can see why you'd think that, though. Bingo. No, he's barely not gonna make it. Or they won't pick up. I mean, they're kind of busy right now, low-key. Oh! And the crew is split up again. Oh, wait, they have PHs on them, like Punk Hazard. There's something fishy going on here, bro. No! a sword like whatever happened four years ago was planned it's gotta be the government man i i, I it's just safe to assume no wait because smoker was like nah that's been sealed off unless it's something above smoker's pay grade like he doesn't even know like something that the government's doing here i don't know man this is juicy as hell though holy that's quite the, the voice and their pet Oh. All kind of units oh. doing a roll call. Hmm. But he doesn't know that there's already some on the island. I mean, couldn't they just assume they see the Milky Road and be like, oh, people have probably made it there already? The Master! Woo, it's get juicy! 
All right, so the entrance to Punk Hazard is not a quiet one by any means. Half our crew is fighting a dragon, just beheaded it, and the other half is getting kidnapped, taken to the master. I love just the introduction of the island and not knowing what's going on, not even knowing what the island is. And especially in the way that, like, I, I, I feel very anxious about just the world right now and how much underlying things could be going on with the government, with the emperors, the warlords, everything. There's so much that we know about the world now and characters that we know that it can use that as just like mystery even if it ends up being something brand new that we don't even know any of the characters involved or anything it still is in the back of my mind that anybody at any time could inherently show up and have an impact that's the best part about one piece we're 500 plus episodes deep it can use everything it's built up up until this point in that way and these these mystery beginnings are the best showing of that but i love the start to the arc there's so much mystery i'm excited to see the rest if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub so you don't see my reaction to the rest and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace